Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. Good morning, everyone. Happy July 1st. Hard to believe it's July 1. Q3 is kicked off. So let's kick it off with tell me something good online or here in person. Who has something good that they would like to share? Oh, it gets quiet. So we had a deal that we were way over our our removal times and they were going to kick us out of contract and I was able to get the client to go in and remove all those contingencies on a 203k and uh, everything's back on board so we're I'm pretty happy about that saved it awesome hey welcome welcome do we have enough chairs yeah we got enough chairs all right one Johnny yeah go ahead Alicia um i'm gonna share your wife's success story <laughs> okay let's do it because it was so fun and i just want to open the door to you guys um because loans are literally like a rubik's cube to me and are so much fun so valerie contacted me and she had an escrow where the appraisal came in seventy two thousand dollars low and the current lender wasn't offering solutions for the client or for Valerie. So she was, you know, frantically trying to find problem solve it and thought that she had to bridge the gap between the $72,000 short appraisal. The truth is it totally worked without any adjustments. The only difference is the client ended up with a $55 mortgage insurance that that only is going to be there for 24 months. So at the end of the day, it was a $1,300 cost over 24 months, and that is it. Your rate stays the same, everything stays the same. Uh, and the way that it works, just so you guys understand, so you can understand the math of it, uh, they negotiated a price of 720. The appraisal only came in at 651. I went over the monthly payment with the client and said, hey, what are you comfortable with monthly? He gave me that dollar amount. I said, perfect. We can borrow 550. That's our loan amount, 550. That allowed the client to come in with the same amount they planned on, nothing changed. So if the purchase price is 720 and the loan amount is 550, it's an 84% loan to value. Again, all that happened is now there's a small mortgage insurance. That's it. Super simple. So it actually didn't impact anything else. It didn't make the client need to come up with more money. So it was a huge victory. I didn't want to steal the loan, nor did I try to steal the loan. I just called the loan officer and told him how to do it. Yep. So if you guys get stuck in your escrows and you need to bounce something off me, I like salivate at the opportunity to solve loan problems. It's like so fun. <laughs> so don't be shy. I'm happy to help or at least give you guys a solution of that I've experienced in the past, if that makes sense. Absolutely. No, that's a that's a deal saver right there. And really it was actually 90 grand short, but the sellers were willing to come down a yeah. little bit to make up the difference. So I do want to say too, Alicia's amazing. I'm closing like my seller signed a VA loan. Um, he signed last night, and we weren't even supposed to do that until the sixth. So, how many? How long was the escrow period for that VA loan? Uh, I think we said twenty-one day close, but how long? I mean, how fast are you closing? Oh. Um, what like? Well, I mean, now honestly, we're waiting for the sellers now because they are floored that you did this and thought that they were going to be late, so they didn't like get their stuff in order. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So hopefully we're closing tomorrow. We could have closed in 14 days. Huh? Yeah, yeah, could have yeah. closed. Yeah. A VA loan in 14 days. Yeah. Yay! Uh, yeah, your team's great. Thank you. Thank you. All right, one more from a real estate agent. One more. I know there's Darcy. Cindy's gonna be speaking a lot. Jenna, do you have any anything? Okay, that's a win. Just a couple. Yeah. How many? How many do you have coming up, and how'd you get them? Thursday, it's a 2 2 for 390. I have well, a listing appointment I'm going to tomorrow in Marysville. That'll be a 3 2. Uh, it's about 3 30. Okay. And how are you finding these appointments or these clients? Um, these people are referrals and uh, spirit influence. Okay. Mostly. So you're not even paying for the leads, they're just yeah. coming to you. There you go. 
So where? All right. Nobody online want to jump in with a tell me something good. This is your last and final chance. All right, we'll move on. Um, Alicia, would you mind giving us a mortgage update? What are rates doing? What are you seeing? Absolutely. So again, guys, you can still get rates in the twos. I went ahead and posted some examples of the rate sheets on our on the Brent Go site. So you can get an idea of where rates are at, but on all programs involved, you can still get rates in the twos. I believe I brought up the bank statement only option last time. If not, I wanna make sure everybody knows, um, I just got an update. If you have a client self-employed who doesn't claim income on their taxes, we can do bank statement only now to 90% of the value with as low as the 660 credit score. Um, and they do not need a full two years of self-employment if they were in the same industry in the past and recently have switched. So just keep that in mind because self-employment is a niche where a lot of people get denied by a lot of banks. So being able to be that hero can get you extra deals. Absolutely. Anybody have any questions? No, no. Wonderful. All right, real quick, Jen, do you want to share? Jen from North American Home Services is here. Raise your hand if you use North American for your pest service, right? Majority of the room. If you don't, you should. All right, hello, everybody. Happy to see all your faces. Happy Fourth of July weekend. Woo -hoo. Um, just want to let you know, I am Jen Finley, North American Home Services. We are your one call for all your inspection needs. And if you don't know, we are open on Saturdays. So we are open off the from 8 to 12. So if you need anything on the Saturday, feel free to call our office. I'd be happy to help. Is that every Saturday or is it just this Saturday? So except for this Saturday, because the holiday. <laughs> <laughs> this Saturday, it will be I did not know that. That's good. Yeah. That's good to know. And then also, right now, we're looking about a week out, I would say, of our schedule. Um, if you are on a tech contingency and need something like urgent, 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 please feel free to text me. I will try to move the schedule as best I can. Our inspectors are great, and they might take one early morning or late afternoon. So just feel mm -hmm. free to reach out and I'll talk about it. Wonderful. And Jen's cards are in the back if you'd like to grab one. But for the people online, Jen, what's your phone number? Uh, 916. 916. 833-3531. And here, I'll put it in the chat for all of you online. While I'm doing that, Cindy, yeah. she has a, it's an epic story that I think she's going to share with us today. Yes. Uh, did, were you able to upload the stuff that I sent you? I, I was, yes. Okay. So this is a crazy thing that happened to me. Like, if you didn't see this video, you would never even believe it's true. It's that crazy. So this is, I represented the uh, sellers, but this is for all of you who don't that go to your inspections with your buyers. This is every reason why you need to go. So luckily I had, my seller was working from home and the buyer's agent was there. And so was the buyer. And we did the home inspection and he left and they hired an AC guy to come in afterwards, just in case there was something that wasn't working that we know they're super booked out. Unfortunately, this realtor couldn't get a hold of his normal AC guy, so he called the only guy that was available to come out um, a couple of days in advance. And um, Sweet Old Lady's <coughs> client paid ahead of time uh, for the inspection, which probably should not have done. And so the guy came over, the AC guy, and he didn't know our inspector had already left and inspected the house. Um, he comes out and he goes, oh, your AC is broken. And my client is like, what do you mean it's broken? It was just on, like it was working before you got here. So you touched it, what's going on? He's like, nope, it's broken. So the, <laughs> the buyer's agent and the buyers go out and find that piece sitting on top of, of the box that he ripped out of there. And he tries to take off. And so in the meantime, my seller is now in tears because it was working before this guy touched it. And, uh, and she is just in tears. So luckily uh, her brother is an HVAC guy. So he says why he says it's working and he goes immediately, this is a scam. What he's saying is not even true in AC. You need to get out there, take a picture of his license plate, take a picture of his car. And I want you to call your, I'm calling your husband right now to get over there. And I want you to show him what he touched. So this is the company, don't ever use them. So the agent chases him down. Uh, and there's two agents, chase him down, come back inside. I was like, you need to put all the pieces back. You need to put the pieces back in this. When you so, watch the video? Uh, here, so then 
This is the video. Now this will blow your mind. Wait till you see the video. You can hear her crying. So it was working perfectly fine when you opened this up. I checked it. that off. I opened it. I took that off, filled the power. Mm -hmm. I opened this up and checked wires. Right. And that was not working. Right. So open it back up and show me the wires you tested. I'm, I'm not going to get into this. So it worked perfectly fine. You show up and it doesn't work. So I did it. The guy literally takes off running, says he's not going to fix it. He doesn't have time for this and takes off running. Not a joke in front of everybody. And we're like, so we call him back. We're like, hey, buddy, just to let you know, 10 minutes prior, home inspector was here. He sent us all the pictures, showed with the perfect working condition, showed the thermostat reading, everything. He's, he speeds off down the street. So then I call the owners. You know, everyone's called. Well, first I get a phone call. I have no idea this is going on. I'm buyer's agent. You know what it starts with. I want to tell you first. I was like, oh my God, what's happening? <laughs> my cell, I can hear it crying in the background. He's also one of my best friends. Um, and like, he's telling me this story and I'm like, I can't even believe this story. This is like, what do you mean he's trying to take off twice? And then they're like, we got it all on video. So we get the, um, if you show the wires, that the two pictures of the wires, yeah. So you will see that we got the one from the home inspector. Everything's connected. So then they show up. You see, cut all the wires in there. <laughs> so the owner shows up and was like, "Yeah, so we, yeah, okay, so the wires are broken. So okay, we'll fix it for you." Like, did not apologize once. Did not say he was sorry. Did not say he was going to reprimand his his employee who did this. Was like, "Oh well." So obviously we know this is a scam. The whole company has gone like that. <laughs> so my husband needs a little review. <laughs> and come to find out, everyone starts doing research. The same inspector has reviews all over Google of him doing the same thing at other people's houses. We are not the only person that we find on Google. Exact same inspector who did this. Of course, we got the money re uh, refunded for the home inspection, which was $160. Uh, but these guys are taking zero responsibility. I want to make sure no one ever uses Jaguar. You send that to the license board. Right. Oh, yeah. That freaking I am so like, we're going to get ready to close escrow, and I'm going to blast this all over social media. I'd be happy if y'all <laughs> forward it to because these people should no, not be working in our it's industry. It's they will do it. And I mean, if that video is not worth a thousand words, and I am so thankful that my clients took that video because you cannot go against those two pictures or a video. That says it all. So this is why you must show up to your own inspections because these people could be out there scamming. He actually tried to come the day before and he said, absolutely not. I need you to come when everyone else is there. I think he thought he was showing up to some old sweet old lady who paid for it from Arcata. But little did he know we have a whole team of people there mm -hmm. and the videotape it all. So yeah, so wow. don't ever use Jaguar, guys. I guess they're out of Sacramento. Oh, and my favorite part is he want, he calls the yell at my seller. So they're taking no responsibility. They're blaming, you know, he, he, we, oh, we also have a video uh, recorded on the phone that he goes, yeah, so we broke the wires. What's a big deal? We fixed it. So we've got that on recording too. Um, but the, it's just mind blowing that these people so do the it. Wires are hiring them? Yeah, because I couldn't get anyone else to come. And he broke the wires and then they got caught and kept it on video and pictures and everything. I got caught up all that, but uh, I never had my that's, yeah, that's a new one. So, uh, you, might, you might call the district attorney also as well. And see. Well, yeah, I think I might. And also, one of my friends' friends has called Curtis for news. So, I think <laughs> I might just send it over to him too. <laughs> oh, but his favorite part is he yelling at my company. He is saying, uh -huh. you know, we're teamed up with big brokerages out there. I don't know why you guys are making a big deal. You know, we're partners out with Open Door. And I just start, uh, I don't know, your credibility just went down a hundred points, buddy. Like, perfect example of the people that open door hire. Just like this, just like the big, you know, the bad roof open door put on one of my, uh, one of the houses. Like, so, yeah, anybody who's teamed up, you know, this is what the quality of stuff that you get. Another thing to pitch against open door when you're looking at one minute. <laughs> right, yeah, perfect example. Don't make stuff up, yeah. But, yeah, it was just <laughs> shocking to see that someone would actually do that to clients and not care and, like, take zero responsibility. Like, not one I'm sorry to anybody. And yeah. not, I'm firing him or he will be reprimanded. Well, just how did he fire him? He taught him how to do that. I'm oh, sure. Sure. <laughs> obviously, obviously. <laughs> uh, and it was funny because the people who, like, came out were, like, when we wrote the review, uh, it was someone else who responded. So, which means 
you can tell everybody is involved in this. This is just a scam that they do. They go and they cut the wires so your AC doesn't work. <coughs> and then they charge you a bunch of money and hook the wires back up and you know, walk away from the next house. But think of how many houses they've gotten away with on that. Yeah. Like, that's the really... <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, the contractor review board actually responds pretty well to this kind of stuff. Really? When you have doc this is what they need. When you, it's more than just you complaining. When you have this kind of documentation, they will go after that contractor's license, and that's the way you really hurt this company. All the he said, she said doesn't matter. They're making enough money to do. If they do this a thousand times, ten thousand people, you know, five hundred people complain. It's still not a big deal. It's still profitable. But if you get that license pulled. That would be everything. Yeah, and I did so, have both the um, but, uh, sellers and the buyer's agent right as soon as they were done description of all the events as they good. happened, so we could upload they it to Sky Slope. They picked yeah. the wrong blog. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 and the wrong little did they know. It's the best of my sellers. But yeah, I am just going to destroy them because I just can't believe that. Be cautious. What you and it's so it. much fun to destroy bad people. Right? And when I have to, like, how do you argue with pictures? Be and cautious with what you oh, say yeah. though, on social media or something because then they can go and go, well. I mean, you have videos, but also they can do They can't do Be cautious. You don't want to be in a lawsuit. Yeah. 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 Crush him like a bug. You can ah. <laughs> crush him like a bug. Leave the lawsuit on. No, wait, you can, you can, you can run an ad. You can run an ad. Is your AC working perfectly? Right. Call, call, call Jaguar Heating and Air. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Let's change this out. There are some events coming up. Cindy, yeah, yeah, yeah. you have an event, right? Yep. So we had such a good turnout uh, for our paddle boarding event that Darcy and I decided to do it again. Um, so we are going to do it next Thursday. This one, if you want to bring your kids, you can bring your kids. Last time was adults only. Um, we are going to be serving hot dogs and chips from 5.30 to 6.30. And then we'll blow up our boards or if you want to bring kayaks, I know Mariah bought her kayak last time. Um, come out. It was amazing last time. We had over 50 paddle boarders on our first event. We were shocked. Um, so we're going to do it again and just follow uh, the balloons. The lake is really low. Um, so we will give you a pin of where to go. Pretty much it's the middle of the lake. So when you get the pin, it will show you that you're in the middle of the lake. Unfortunately, that's where the beach starts now. Um, <laughs> But there's uh, no boats on there. It's pretty much a giant paddle boarding lake. It was pretty friggin' awesome. It was, the sunset was gorgeous. And we have a whole lake to ourselves. So hopefully you guys can all make it. And if you don't have a paddle board, um, we found out there's a place called California SUP. It's um, stand up paddle boarding. And they rent them um, at a full sum. And you just pick them up that day and take them the day uh, the next day. And they weren't expensive. So if you don't have one and you want to rent one, because the lake, the rentals are obviously not going up Folsom Lake, so you got to go somewhere else for your paddle boards. There you go. Easy peasy. I heard it sounded like a blast, so I'm hoping I can make it this next yes, Thursday, too. I hope you I all can make it. It yes. was so much fun. And if you want to register, just go to, what is it, Sunset Ride? Yep, Sunset Ride. Uh, At eventbride.com. Yes, and I did put it on our Facebook page, so it's on there. And I, I think Darcy and I put it on our stories this morning, so you guys go make it. Yes. It was super fun. And then, Barry, you said you had a, an announcement. A reminder. Uh, just a reminder that we, uh, at Brent's request, we are starting back the lunch and learns, and those are going to be here in the room on um, Friday at 12 o'clock. Uh, so bring people. Uh, these are lunch and learns where we'll be playing the um, the video live and going through that. We find that that's how Brent built his business with lunch and learn. So um, you guys bring people to it, come to it, hear the thing again. Even though all of you have heard it, hear it again. By the way, he changed it. So the one that's out there now is not the same one. I just listened to it uh, with one of my uh, prospective people and I was surprised. I'm like, oh, I didn't catch that. And he slipped too, he changed it, but he's doing it in the same location. So you don't really know he changed it unless you saw the other one in that detail. So come check it out. Wonderful. And then Brent, I see you survived the volcano. Yeah, baby, absolutely. That was crazy times. Wow. Absolutely loved it. We just happened to be going to a small airport out in a cow pasture when that thing went off that morning. And you, we were 20 miles away and you could see it in the distance. And so I was glad we were flying the other direction. 
The funny uh, thing is we went to a resort next to a place called the Volcano Resort. So we were at the base of another dormant volcano and enjoying the geothermal hot springs that did seem hotter than normal. So <laughs> it, was, it was crazy. You have a waterfall hit you in the back and it smells like iron because it's literally coming up from the earth. And it was like, amazing. it's raining on you. It's a rainforest. We had a great time. It's a lot of fun. So yeah, but I'm back. I got in at 3 a.m. this morning to Puerto Rico and uh, it was a good time. Very good. Hey, you want to share with this upcoming uh, listing course that you do? With oh Kyle? yeah, yeah. Uh, Kyle Whistle? Yeah. Oh, heck yeah. So Kyle's my buddy. Um, as you know, I, uh, he'd never been to Napa. So I bribed he and his wife to come up. I had to get reservations at the French laundry. It's going to cost me like five grand for dinner for four people. It's insane. But, um, he was like, okay, I'll come. But he, if you read down, click here to register, it says Kyle whistle leads the whistle realty group brokered by XP realty ranked number one in San Diego for the seventh year in a row. So San Diego average home price, you know, 750,000, whatever it is, 700,000. He's the number one guy in San Diego. That's why he's smiling. Look at that happy smile. And uh, he's number three in the state of California by Real Trends and advertised in the Wall Street Journal. And he's named number one use of video by Bomb Bomb in North America. The guy's just a rock star. Um, and uh, basically, he's going to come up and give you 12 strategies to get listings and to get your offers. So six listing strategies, surefire way to get listings, six of them. And then six key things he's been teaching to get your offers accepted and uh, which will be boring because I just nailed it two weeks ago. No, I'm kidding. But anyway, so I'm sure he'll have some new ideas and techniques um, for you on that. But it's going to be great. It's on Thursday, the 29th. That is July 29th, Thursday, 2 to 4. And we're having a P car. Bring your friends from Remax. Sent you 21 Keller Williams. Uh, independence net. We're not talking about EXP at all. Zero. You can ever say, if you want to learn from the guy who's literally number one in San Diego, seven years in a row and number three in the state of California, and that's all companies. Um, and in California, there are 460,000 agents. He's agent number three out of 460,000. I think you need to come and they'll say, well, I'm kind of busy. I'm like, unbusy yourself. You need to unbusy yourself. How did you get to hear from a guy who's number three out of 460,000? And uh, absolute rock star. It's going to be two hours of life changing. And the I believe the cost for this, is I think it's free. I'm basically footing the bill. So just say we have spent thousands of dollars to get him here. We're going to scholarship you. Say those words. Because no, people aren't going to scholarship me. I go, yeah, we paid thousands of dollars to bring him here. We're going to scholarship you. In other words, we got you covered. Just come, no charge. And then I want you to go back to Lions, go back to HomeSmart, go back to Realty One, go back to um, Keller Waves or wherever, where, and go prosper, do well. And say, we're not talking about EXP. Kyle's about how to get more listings. Would you like some more listings? Would you like to get your offers more? You can't learn this enough. And, and you, you, it'll really benefit you to get people there. PCAR, they're back open for business. We can get four or five hundred people there. We'll have the music going, lights, camera, action. It'll be the first big meet we've had in Sacramento since the plague. It will be the largest uh, by the way, COVID-19 is over. I'm proclaiming it like the Pope. I'm blessing it. It's gone. So it's going to be uh, even P card. They've been ridiculous. Even P card is letting us have a lot of people. Um, is Rob there or James is, I can't see the, the room that good. Is it either Rob or James? Who is that? Is that James waving or Rob? Rob. I, I'm Rob. Uh, <laughs> I, I, cause you guys are all small. Cause it's a little tiny square in the corner. Cause we're looking at cows. Um, P car, how, how many people will they let us have? A lot more than normal, right? Oh, oh there you are. We can fill the place. There are no limitations. We can fill, we can fill the room. So they even P cars proclaiming the end of COVID-19. I love it. <laughs> yeah. We're, we got no limits. Beautiful. So honestly, Bring 10, 15 of your friends and say, they'll go, well, come on, you want me to leave Century 21 or Better Homes and XP? I go, of course, we'd love that, but go back and do well. This is about your kids. Don't let the brand get in the way of your children and your husband and your dreams and, and going from 30 sales a year to 60. I'm telling you, and, and so if you promote this, two to four, 
clear your schedule, get on the phone today, get people there. They sign up for EXP, you get stock. They start selling homes, you get revenue share. And that part of your business will begin to grow. And it's so easy. This is called a soft recruiting event. And it's happening at the end of this month. And so get a bunch of people there, be there yourself. You can, it's kind of twofold. A, you're going to sharpen your sword, your ax. And B, you're going to play the long game and not the tyranny of the urgent. The tyranny of the urgent is doing what Cindy Silva's doing, trying to beat my record. It is an urgent thing for her and I'm teasing her, but um, you know, I mean, it's great. And I think she should try to beat my record. How many days you got left there, Cindy? Um, I have until the 8th of next the month. The 8th of the eighth. next month. And today's the first, you get seven days. So 4th of have... July is not probably doing her any favors, but how many home sales are you up to now? Um, I have 10 in escrow and I have four listings coming up, but all four listings we're doing after the 4th of July. So again, oh my, give her a hand, you guys, if you haven't already, uh, uh, come on, give me, give her a hand. Isn't that awesome? So, um, by the way, did you speak yet? I know we were hoping you're going to share today. Did you already share? I did. Yes. Okay. I got on a little bit late off that. Awesome. Well, congratulations. But, um, the long game is, you know, is like Krista Proctor was sharing earlier today when her daughter was sick and in the hospital and she could really couldn't work. Her revenue share was coming in two to three thousand dollars a month, which helps cover car payments and bills and and getting that part up. But it's like anything any of you have ever set your mind to. And a soft recruiting event is a great way to do it. You're just adding value. Go back to lines. In fact, I have fun with it. Let's say. Um, uh, Manu was a Cobal Banker agent. I go, Manu, you're not allowed to come to EXP. Go back to Cobal Banker and be blessed for 20 years. Go, go succeed at a high level. And so I have fun with it. And, and so, you know, bring, I want you to think bigger than you're thinking. Bring 30 people. Bring, I brought 33 people to a business planning clinic. It just takes some enthusiasm and some belief and passion that this will change their real estate career forever and you're gonna freaking miss it to go do whatever you're gonna do on the 29th of july like well, we're leaving for reno go leave at 4 30 when it's over this is you need to have some tough love you know some some chutzpah in you because if you're all mealy mouth you don't get listings that way and you don't get buyers to use you that way and you're not going to get agents so enough said that was a very long thing but that is that is going to be a great event. Pretend you are spending $10,000 to put it on. Like I'm just pretend you're doing that and you go get 20 or 30 agents there and watch your business explode in a way you never dreamed of. So I'll give it back to you, Johnny. Hey, real quick. I know you just got back from a big event with Tony, right? Yeah. Do you have any big takeaways you want to share with everybody? Oh man, it was really the people you meet. There were 170 people there. We were running through the jungles of, of Costa Rica. He's a... Um, adrenaline junkie. Every day I thought I was going to die on one of those things. <laughs> they hot water river rafting. The group in front of us hit, they got turned sideways and they hit one of those things and three pills from boom. I mean, the blink of an eye, three people in the water. And these rapids were, it was four feet deep and hauling butt like a flash flood. And that guy freaked out. He grabbed two with two hands and pulled him in big. The third guy got too far away. He went down 200 yards of and he was bleeding and bruised. The raft ran him over. He thought he was going to die. He told me, was, I thought I was going to die. I, I thought I was going to die. I just watched him. I couldn't help him. It's like, even if I jumped in, I would have never gotten to him because I'm 40. He went that way. And you watch him spinning and tumbling and getting stuck. And, and I was like, oh, my God. So then there was rappelling down waterfalls and they go to be cute. I'll just swing into the waterfall and the water will hit me in the hard hat. And they want you to do it. And then you get in there and the water's so cold. You're, <gasps> and it takes away your breath. And then it's so frothy and foamy. You can't breathe. The air has water in it. <gasps> and, and you're trying to zip. You're trying to lower yourself down 200 foot waterfall. I'm like, this is stupid. And now I'm in it. And then they're like, go that way. Uh, yeah. And, oh God. And then I surfed for the first time in my life. I actually surfed an entire wave. I failed for like 25 minutes. And the very last wave is last wave, senior. We're going in. And I did what I was supposed to do and up and then throw your right foot forward, throw your left foot, throw your hand out. All of a sudden I'm like, oh man, I didn't fall. Da -da 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 -da. And I rode it all the way to the shore. I surfed the wave in Costa Rica and they go hop off backwards. And then it isn't a foot of water. I didn't even fall then. I picked up the board and walked in like a boss. It was <laughs> awesome. That was fun. 
Um, flying, not knowing you're going to fly, you get on an airplane and fly. I mean, no metal detectors. We could add machetes. I mean, I love private flight. It was fun. There were like 14 of us in this plane and they're just flying between the, it was so exciting and, um, zip lining, um, that was hairy and everything was crazy. Sea doing on these 90 mile an hour sea dudes in the open ocean, catching, getting completely airborne off swells. I'm like, they let people do this. They let you do anything in Costa Rica. So um, the geothermal spring, I can, I'll stop, but it was, but the best part, and to answer your question, Johnny, was the people you met. We met cryptocurrency people. We met uh, real estate people. I have a ton of people that, that are in real estate brokers. I met, um, you know, people who, uh, I own marketing companies, people from Switzerland. I met a jet broker. She's like full on. I'm going to sell you a Goldstream 10 years old for 5 million bucks. I'm like, are you serious? She's like, here's how are you going to do it? And I'm like, I'm actually thinking about getting, you know, anyways, that's, a, that's a little bit of a dream, but it was fun. She's a jet broker. She sells jets. Like you guys sell homes. She sells jets in out of Switzerland. She was Rebecca. She's great. Um, of course she had a fish on with me, man. I'm like, I'm an easy sell. And then, um, so it was just super fun and to meet all the people and then there you make these relationships and then anyways, very good, good time. Highly recommend it. If you ever do it. So we got, we got, I want to meet a jet broker. That's, that's my big takeaway. That's a good person. Oh, to know. It was fun. It was fun. So um, real quick, what Brent was just saying about his favorite thing about the event was meeting people. We're doing an event, Valerie and I go to made for more mixer.com. And this is going to be at crawdads on July 15th. And it's a professional networking mixer. And right now we have about 180 signups, right? So there's probably going to be over 200 people there, 200 people to meet, network with, grow your sphere, and maybe get some deals out of. It's free. It's at crawdads from five to eight, crawdads on the river. If you haven't been, you have to go. It's an absolute spectacular spot. People can pull up on their boats or their jet skis. I'm going to drive there like, a, like everybody else. But if you wanted to, you can pull up on a boat. But that's uh, Make for More Mixer July 15th. Yeah. Cindy, you should bring your boat there. I know. There you go. And, and pull up on your boat and give some boat rides with, uh, with, with, with Jared. That'd be fun. That is, have you been to Crawdads? Cindy, you've been to Crawdads, of course. Right? My boat, too. <laughs> oh really that's awesome yeah cool well, hey so the meat and potatoes for today let's see if i can set this up i'm gonna try and by the way while he's setting that up does everyone remember where you were when oj simpson was in the white bronco going down the la freeway yeah. everybody remember where you were when that happened oj simpson i was at crawdads at the river and <laughs> i'm looking up at all the bar tvs and the whole everybody was like oh my god it's oj it was crazy so that's anyways one of those moments all go right. ahead johnny all right so who here knows who darren hardy is the author of the compound effect all right raise your hand if you know valerie jenna okay he does this thing every morning brent i don't know if you're aware of this but it's called um What's it called, Valerie? Darren Daly. It's called Darren Daly. God, I've been listening to it every morning for five years. You think I can remember? But it's called Darren Daly. It's free. Reach out to Valerie and me. We'll maybe put a link on um, the Brent Go team page where you can sign up. But it's every morning, um, it's typically five minutes long, Monday through Friday. What's crazy about these though is they expire in three days. So you can't. If you miss the video, if you miss the morning and you go back four days later, it's gone. Okay. So the whole idea is to create like a morning habit. But the reason why I bring this up is the three things I'm going to share with you today is something that I learned from Darren Daly this week. And it was so, so good. And they expire. So I can't like reference the videos because they expire. I wanted to share with you. So Darren, if you give his background really quick, he used to be the um, editor of Success Magazine. He used to own it. EXP owns it now, interestingly enough. And um, so he's interviewed like the best people, the, mo the, the most famous, most successful, most disciplined human beings on the planet over the last 30 years. Okay. And he's commonly asked, what are the three most common characteristics that you see in these human beings? What makes them different? And here are the three that he shared with. Number one is he said that they are rabid learners. They're not just like, they don't le listen to a lot of audiobooks. They don't read often. They do that. They attend, it's not only that they just attend seminars, but they pull information from all different avenues. Every single place, they just squeeze information out from the different circumstances they're in. So for example, like somebody who, where do you consume information? Like where do you like to learn your, and, and better, better yourselves? I know Brent does a lot of events, like is it books, 
Yeah, we'll write them down. What is it? Conferences. What else? I'm going to say cigars. <laughs> I learned I learn from cigars. IRS website. Where? Books. I would definitely say books. Books. Okay. A financial advisor. And then I think wow. now the internet too. It's, yeah. If I want to study something, I can go online and get. If I want to visit some Facebook now. YouTube University. Yeah, YouTube is good. Right, but Darren was saying that these people they also learn from like movies in a song, watching, 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 a, or lyrics in a in a song, watching a movie. Only right, Jesse. Part where? Only for hippies. Only if they're <laughs> so like so just just change change your mindset that you don't have to be sitting down in a classroom or you don't have to be sitting down listening to a book to be learning something. You can learn something just by by your environment. So that's another reason why it's important to make sure you're in a healthy environment. Okay. So number two is they have a deep sense of purpose. Uh, now we've heard this before, but like to achieve what these individuals are achieving, like the, the Steve Jobs, the Russell Bronson, the Brent Goves, right? The Kyle Whistles. Um, it's a totally different sense of purpose. And so I'm gonna tell you a quick story. Um, Darren shared this story. Everybody know who the founder of Starbucks is? Howard Schultz, right? Okay, so he took Starbucks from six stores to thousands, right? In the early 90s. And he had achieved a great degree of success, so he retired. Right, and let, was letting his company do its thing. Well, eight years after he retired, the company started entering some financial struggle. Right, the stock price was tanking. They were saying McDonald's was going to take over. It was going to be the end of Starbucks. Schultz came from nothing. Like he grew up in a, in the projects in the Bronx, and he vividly remembered. So we're talking about purpose, right? He vividly remembered his dad slipping on black ice when he was a kid. His dad, his dad worked for a living, slipped on black ice, broke his hip and his ankle. And his dad couldn't work. They didn't have workman's comp. They didn't have health care back then. And so his dad's laid up on the couch. And he just remembers seeing in his dad's eyes, like just the defeat that his dad cannot provide for his family. And so that is what provided his deep sense of purpose. So now fast forward to, so he always wanted, if he had the ability to provide for his employees the way he wished his dad had cared for them. So fast forward now, Starbucks is in trouble. And they need to cut $500 million of debt, like $500 million of expenses, half a billion dollars worth of expenses off their balance sheets. And Starbucks is famous for providing healthcare for their employees. And so his investors, the board, everybody's pressuring him because the, the cost of healthcare was $300 million. So he needs to hit 500 million. They're like, dude, everybody's pressuring you. You can absolutely, nobody's gonna fault you for cutting healthcare just to keep the company alive. He's like, yeah, but do you wanna kill it? You know? This company represents what my dad did. And so he, 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 he did not do it. So, and the reason why is he said, he said he remembered that look on his dad's face. So when you go through tough times, what will be the flame in your, in your faith and your conviction? Like what's your purpose? That's the sense of purpose you have to have, right? That's a, that's a half a billion dollar sense of purpose for other people. So once you have that, whatever you're going through now, will help pull you through because there's good days and bad days. But if you have that deep conviction, that will pull you through. And so, so for example, um, everybody says family. So I'm just going to put that one out there so nobody else can steal it. What's another sense of purpose? Like what's something else that drives your, what helps get you up in the morning? Any, any other ideas? Coffee. <laughs> coffee. Coffee. <laughs> okay. Maybe, maybe it's your faith. Maybe your faith. I think serving others. Or... Serving others. Charity. Serving in charity. My okay. dreams. Big dreams. Yeah, dreams. Okay. Goals. Mm -hmm. Every, hey, all ideas. We're, not, we're putting everything up here. So what you, what you notice is that this is this is a goal. This is this is this is what what pulls you forward. This is the hopes. A lot of these other things are outside of yourself. Okay, so it's if you're focusing on what I can do, what I want, what I need, that tend that tends to hold you back. But if you're focusing on, hey, how can I help somebody else? How is what I? If you tie your purpose into helping other people, like Howard Schultz did, that will help fuel that fire and really pull you forward. All right. Now the third thing. This is this is the one I struggle with the most. 
And so uh, I saved it for last. But anybody have any idea what these numbers are? If you're online, I don't know if you can read them, but it's $1,500 a month, $1,800 a month, $1,300 a month, eight grand a year. Like any idea what these numbers are? Compound interest, yeah. No. I wish, I wish. This is not rev share, unfortunately. <laughs> this is not rev share. So, is um, this your marketing expense? No, nope, no, nope. good, good, good guess though. Um, so this is this is how much it costs it's Facebook and IG. This is how much Facebook and Instagram is costing you, $1,500 a month. Um, what's this one? I think it's about five. You got it, yeah. So that's 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 YouTube. This Sorry, is uh, you're cable. Five, you might want to like bust that one way up. <laughs> this one is um hey you got a minute like hey John, hey john you got a minute or uh text messages right and this is only three times a day that's only three times a day it's, three, it's, text it's, messages a day? three interruptions oh, three, three, interruptions. three interruptions a day I just, I just right see. and then this is procrastinating this is if you put procrastination in a dollar a dollar amount the nice thing is you don't pay now <laughs> okay, now you're probably thinking, okay, Johnny, that's ridiculous. Like that right there, I mean, that's over, that's four grand a month just in, you know, Facebook, TV, and, and text messages. That's insane. I don't, who's, who's, how is, how is that costing you that much? I don't, I maybe, they, maybe I don't make that much. Okay. Well, these numbers are all based off of the average use time of, a, of an American spending their, spending time on these different things. Average, this is the average, this is an extreme, this is average. And any idea what the annual income is for these for this individual? Probably sixty. 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 But that's based off $150,000 a year. So if you make more, then these numbers go up dramatically. If you make less, then obviously the numbers would be less. So my face time is cheaper than yours. <laughs> yeah. But here's, here's the thing. Super I mean, cheap. Whoever came up with that had to be a few, too. So I'm just saying, there's no freaking way. Like, try that with kids. That that's true. I don't think Darren has kids. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying. Like, so how much do kids cost you? Oh man, like zero, 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 <laughs> zero, 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 right? All of it. But here, but here's the thing. They, they, they don't. Super cheapers don't only know that their time is money. They treat their time as like money. That's good. What, what that's if you good. had to like pay fifteen hundred dollars a month to get on Facebook? Like, would you? You? Know, I would think twice. I would think twice. Right. twice. But that, the problem is, is, this money is not coming out of your pocket. Right, you're not having to like write a check. You're not having to Venmo Facebook, right, or set it up for auto pay. It's just happening in the background. This is the lost opportunity. This yeah, is opportunity lost. cost. Okay, so which so when this purpose gets low, these things start to go up because these are easy. This is this is this is how you relax. This is how you charge so you can regain your purpose. But that's it's actually works in reverse. So those are the three things. Number one, rabid learners. Number two, they have a deep sense of purpose. And number three, they treat their time like gold. So um, what are you going to stop paying for? Right? Or maybe instead of paying $1,500 a month, maybe you're going to pay $700 a month. Like, what do you want to pay less on? So I personally, I've stopped watching. You want to play less on procrastination? Okay. I'm the biggest procrastinator. My, my thing is I like watching um, Netflix as I'm getting, like, I'm brushing my teeth and stuff. And then I fall asleep to it. And uh, I'm going to, I'm trying to, I'm not 100% right, gorgeous, but I'm trying to listen to positive things, like listen to like educational things rather than spend it on like Netflix and stuff. Does that make sense? Who else? Any other ideas? Like how, you, how you're more effective with your time? Like anybody have, want to, have anything they want to share? No. And for the TV, you can replace it with the YouTube. There's yeah. so many things with the YouTube yeah, stuff cable. that you can learn. Hundred percent. Yeah, I have to commute a lot for my kids. I live in Fort Michael, and they go to school at Mount Auburn Hills. Cool. And so during those times, um, I have an Audible subscription, and so I read a lot of listen, read a lot of. I count it as reading. Yeah, yeah. While well, I'm commuting, and that helps knock that out. So I'm kind of learning. Today. Audible's a, a game changer. Does everybody know what Audible is? Yes. Yeah. Okay. For those of you who don't. It's you're listening to books on tape through Amazon. 
super yeah. cheap. All the great books are there. Um, that's that changed my life. Listening yeah. while driving, like I don't listen to music anymore. I just listen to books. Uh, one other, one other thing. What's Valerie laughing about? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> books on record. Um, okay. All right. Well, that's all I had. Everybody, did you find this fun? Find value in this? Yes. Okay. Darren Hardy, Darren Daly. It's free. You don't have to hear me recap it. You can listen to it on your own while you're drinking your coffee. In the morning. So, all right. That's all we have for today. Can I say one thing too? Please um, do. If you guys did not get signed up for the Top Woman in Real Estate, it did sell out. Um, however, we got it. I suppose like it was another sponsor right then, and we're now opening up 50 more seats. So if you did not sign up, sign up now. Yeah, and boy, men and women can count. I know, like, Richie Ha thought he was, like, the pimp last time he came because he was like, look at all these women. He loved it. <laughs> so the guys really like coming to rooms with lots of women. <laughs> Where do we so go to sign up, up, Cindy? Do you know? Uh, okay. Yeah, I think it's topwomeninrealestate.com. I think I put it on our Facebook page, our team page. page. It's free, but because we're having a catered event, we can put it on the event right thing. It is not. It's at PCAR. It's at Placer County Board of Realtors. Yeah, it's PCAR, and it's a nine to nine to one. one. We're doing lunch. But by the way, there will be the best coffee you've ever tasted in your life. Just <laughs> to let you know. We pimp it out. We already coffee there. So. Yep. And for the men, if you're single or thinking about being single, <laughs> <laughs> it's a target rich environment. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Draco. <laughs> <laughs> Too much water from the river rafting. Sorry. <laughs> that's all you. Hey, that's that's all I have, Brent. Um, we're gonna shut it down a little bit early for the fourth of July. Everybody have a safe, happy, and fun fourth. We'll see you next week. Hey, I'll be home Saturday night. I'll be back for the fourth of July. Happy fourth of July, everybody. I'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. And I will. I am going to show up at the women's meeting for like 10 minutes, but I am happily married. That does not mean I, I you know, I'm just putting that out there. Bye guys. See ya. Yeah.